Hello, here we are on top of, you know, I don't know what ridge to call this, but it's the ridge that is connected to Upper Lopez Ridge, which is over in this direction. See that fire break up there? Continues on and it goes up and over and over. And there's a second peak over there, and then on the other side of that, well, that is the Upper Lopez Ridge over there. And that's what I meant to say. Once you get up here, and you make a right, and you go down that way, that's Upper Lopez Ridge. But this is some connecting ridge to Mount Low. Which, okay, you can just barely see right there those antennas over there. That's when I started going off trail to this point. It's been a real challenge. I tell you, man, my, ooh, my I don't want to overdo things, so I'm trying not to um, push myself beyond that which I am able. <clears throat> so I'm being a little bit less risky than I would be if I was with Jeff. But having said that, I also had to double back over a mile to get my hat because I dropped it. But that was on the road. But the thing is, is I ran. I jogged it. I jogged over a mile. There's I got a couple of muscles that are really bothering me right now. You see that? I tied that thing up there <coughs> to denote. Look at this. There's like no. You gotta watch every step through this. This is easy here too, by the way. Oh my god. Getting here was so difficult. I'm gonna point this out. Okay, ahead there, that canyon, that is Lopez Creek down there at the bottom. And that's the Santa Lucia Wilderness also. And there's a trail that goes through there and there's several camp spots. And Jeff and I have camped in none of the camp spots, campgrounds. We pick our own place. We also like weirder hammockers. So we have to find appropriate trees for that. Uh, these trees right here are in the way. Right straight ahead. That's where we did lunch last week, Jeff and I. I wanted to get there today, but man, as soon as I got up to this point, I, and then I looked at the next place. Oh my God. I don't know how quickly I can get over there. I don't like to run this video too long. But, huh. <laughs> Another one of these, man. I already did like I already did like, I don't know, four or five of them. And now this next one doesn't have as many obstacles as the one that I'm on. And it's starting to look a little nicer. And I thought maybe I could run the risk and do that. But then on the other hand, I jogged earlier, like over a mile with that heavy pack. I had a gallon of water with me today and I would I only just started drinking it during lunch. So, um, so I ran with whatever that is. Plus my clothes. I always bring a second set of clothes coming up here. Anyway, it's a really beautiful day. And it has beautiful views. And I hope that I can share this with other people 
Jeff and I are going to come here, I can tell real soon because I already sent him some photos from up here because we are in cell phone coverage here. Really good because <laughs> it's right over there, straight ahead. That antenna is in there. <laughs> I get like really fast 4G up here. Anyway, so I shared with him a photo and I told him how treacherous it was. And he said, looks like there's a shuttle trip in our future soon. And I'm like, oh my god, I don't know if he really understands what I mean by how difficult it was. Oh, because we're going to be starting over in Rinconada and coming up, and coming all the way over here and going over there to Mount Low. And when we get to this part right here, which was really super challenging, see right here, look at this. I have over a mile of this going in that way. Okay, seriously, over a mile of this kind of, it's, it's like, how do you get through that? Oh my, I don't want to do that at the end of a really long, grueling hike. But he seems to be, I don't know, up for the challenge. Maybe I should change my descriptions when I talk to him. Hmm. Alright, well that's it.